with five different zones and over a hundred installations part of Blink, there was a lot to see, but there was one performance you could only see on the final night right behind me. This feels like we're on a billboard, but it's better than a billboard. <laughs> this was projected on part of the federal building each day of Blink. The person who made it all possible is Wendy Yu. She's not from Cincinnati or even the U.S. She's from Australia, but for the last five months, she's been focused on helping these Cincinnatians showcase their art. In the segment, there are people who are breakdancing on rollerblades, and I have never seen that before. And that's just an example of um, embracing your own practice through urban media art. Sunday, the dancers featured on these walls went beyond urban media art, bringing street dancing right to Main Street. Oh, it was so energetic, so much fun. A type of performance completely new for these dancers. I've never done anything like it, and I want to do so many things like this from now on. Also new for Anaya Nicole Combs, walking by and seeing herself dancing on the side of a building. I almost cried because I came and, I, and when I came around the corner um, the other night, it was me. In one of the other five zones of Blink was another fan favorite of the festival, the Asian Naughty Night Market. It's just a really immersive experience over there. Asian Natty transformed Court Street Plaza into a cultural immersion experience with lit up lanterns, Asian street food, and Asian inspired art. Arian Byram didn't do any research on what to expect at Blink before showing up. So this was a pleasant surprise for her. But the reason she came to Blink in the first place? I've always been one for the neon lights and music and stuff. She wanted to celebrate her favorite city. From downtown Anna Azalian, WCPO 9 News.